Sean Reed here. Thank you for watching my video on how to set up the SLPV software with the Ishida Uni 7 scale. First off, you're going to need a couple of files. The first one being this file here, slpv-305t.msi. So what I basically did there was I unzipped that file, this MSI file. That's your installation file. We're going to run the installation file by pressing run after we've unzipped it. Welcome to SLPV Setup Wizard. Go ahead and type in your name and your organization. In this case, I'll put a sample Bison barcode organization and we'll click next. I usually choose client and server, but you can choose uh, standalone or client only. Client only being, of course, if you're on a network and you're using two versions of the software. In this case, we'll have everybody give everybody the administration right to sign in. Then just click next. So uh, while the software is installing, you'll notice a few things. It's going to create some icons on your desktop and it's going to come up with this screen. Now I've installed it before, but on first time installation, you want to choose the country that you're installing from. So it chooses the proper setup file. I'm in Canada, so I'm going to choose the Canada setup file. Very important if you want to have the setup file include things like 100 gram and uh, English. So I use the default setup Canada and English. And then uh, the next step that's very important is to specify the license file. The license file was a scale user.slp that we. So I'm going to go to my desktop and select scale user. This license file should be available with your download. And without the license file, you'll be able to use it in demonstration mode only. So you'll have limited upload and download unless you have a, uh, the scale user.slp file. So I'll go ahead and install that. Click OK. Now we've successfully installed the software. And again, you'll see uh, a couple of icons on your desktop. There's your two icons. Now let's go ahead and start the Ishida setup utility. Go into all programs, Ishida, SLPV setup utility. The setup utility we typically run once, and this is where we'll configure our scale. In the Ishida setup, um, we're gonna delete the, the scale that's currently there and we're gonna add a new one. So I'm not sure what our IP address is going to be for the scale. So I'm just going to put in an IP address. I'm going to guess at one right now. And then the next step is going to be to find out what IP address uh, we're going to use for our scale. So for now, I know my IP range is, is 100 and I'm going to guess at 106. But in the next step, you'll see where we uh, determine that. Uh, in this next table, uh, we're going to name the scale at the top. So scale one, scale two, scale three. And that's essentially it. We're going to leave the rest alone. Your IP addresses, your master satellite settings and stuff like that. That'll be in another video for advanced settings. So now that we've created the scale, uh, we're going to exit from our setup utility. Uh, the SLPV monitoring software is going to run in the background. You'll see that right there at the SLP, SLPV server, and you can also see that it's X'd out, meaning that we're not communicating to the scale. Before I leave the software, I'm going to go into PLU fields, and this is before we run SLPV, I'm going to determine a few extra fields that I'd like to see in the software. I know that we generally speaking, we don't use fixed weight in Canada, so I'm going to unclick that flag, and I'm going to look for the department and the group flag. I like to have that in my file maintenance. You'll see that later in the software when we open up the uh, item file maintenance. These fields will appear under item file maintenance. So I just clicked on logo. I could click logo one, logo two. And then I'm going to look for maybe label format. And again, I can explain that later as to why I would use that. 
and right here I'll click in department and group I'll say OK and I'll exit from this server SLPV setup utility now let's find out what IP address we can use we'll go to the start menu we'll type in CMD go to the CMD command and type in the, the command IP config. Now this is the way I do it. There are many ways to find out your IP range that you can use to communicate to your scale. I use IP config. You can see in this case, uh, we can determine the IPv4 address. 192.168.100.102 is the computer. The gateway is 254. So around address 102 is what I want to set my scale at. Let's try pinging 106, the address that we used for the scale, to determine whether 106 exists in our network. Once I ping that 106 address, you'll see that it comes back. We get a reply from that address, so we cannot use that address in our network. Let's choose a different number to configure our scale with. How about 116 at the end? So 192. Dot one six eight dot one hundred dot one one six. I'll go ahead and try that address to see if anything responds to it. And you can see here that there is no there is no address in our network. There is no device in our network that replies to that address. So we're gonna go ahead and set our scale for that address. The way to do that would be go back to your start menu and go into the Ashita setup utility like we did before. Go to scale setup and edit our last entry and put in the 116 there. Once we say OK, our next step is going to be to go to the scale and configure that IP address at the scale so that we can communicate to it. Okay, so I'm here at the scale. I'm going to route the cable through uh, and plug it into the left side of the scale. You can see where I, I route the cable up and under the hole uh, provided there so that we can bolt our cable down later or tie wrap our cable to the frame. Uh, once I've connected the scale, the status light comes on. Now we can go and enter the IP configuration data into the scale. Press the mode button. You can see we get a menu. Press the setup button. Let's go back and key in 495344 PLU. You'll notice the pages go to one of six. Let's go to our machine number comms and now press the IP address tab. Once we've selected that, we could key in our IP address. So I'm going to key in 192. Dot 168. Dot 100. Dot 116 and now touch the IP address portion and that will change. You can do the same thing for the default gateway that you saw earlier in the video. And you can also set in your PC IP address. You don't have to, but if you'd like to test ping to PC, that will test your communication to the PC and tell you that it's good. Once again, you only need the IP address to uh, do effective communication. Press the return to mode and you'll go back into sale mode. Now we can check the server status by clicking on this icon. Right click, check scale status and you'll see that we're connected. Now let's go into SLPV software, choose administrator and say OK, go to tools and scale status. You'll also see there that we're, our scale is connected and enabled. Let's close that. 
go to send receive choose our scale PLU and receive from scale we'll get 30 items back from our scale now let's close that and have a look at our PLUs and there they are thank you for watching be sure to stay tuned for more videos on Ishida software thanks Thank <laughs> you.